and identity theft is one of the us on the rise during this unprecedented time. Criminals are posing as financial institutions and trusted brands to lure customers into divulging important information about themselves or their businesses. That is true at the best of time, but the COVID-19 pandemic has only intensified cyber fraudsters' hunt for the successful and vulnerable. According to a recent study by the Association of Certified Fraud Examiners, 90% of surveyed anti-fraud professionals reported an increase in consumer scams due to COVID-19. 51% believe the increase has been by a significant amount. Identity theft is on the rise during these unprecedented times. Criminals are posing as financial institutions and trusted brands to lure consumers into divulging important information about themselves and their businesses. That is true at the best of times, but the COVID-19 pandemic has only intensified cyber fraudsters' hunt for the susceptible and vulnerable. According to a recent study by the Association of Certified Fraud Examiners, 90% of surveyed anti-fraud professionals reported an increase in consumer scams due to COVID-19. 51% believe the increase has been a significant, by a significant amount. Joining us now is Alan Chow, District Manager, sub Africa at F5 Networks. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Identity theft has become a global issue and we battle every day with it. Please tell us how, as individuals, we can prevent our identities from being stolen. So, first of all, the, first, the very first thing, first thing that I will say is do not make yourself an easy target. Okay? So, today we're seeing a lot of movement on social media. People are having to manage a, high, a huge number of passwords. So, the first thing is to do is manage your password, make your password as difficult as possible. The best way to use, um, to, to protect your, your, your password is actually using a password manager, um, using a multi-factor authentication and make sure that you only connect with people that you know. Do not overshare information on social media because you do not know who exactly is on the, on the other end of uh, the connection. So make sure your password is very strong. Refrain from using uh, your last name uh, in your password, your date of birth, as those information will be used by scammers. So that is very important. So the more difficult you make it for a scammer to get to your, to your password, to your identity, uh, the more difficult it becomes for them. So the scammers, they do not want, they do not like obstacles. All right, how do we protect our social media accounts? What do businesses need to do differently? So whether you are an individual or you are a business, um, the same security measures apply. First of all, there is not a single security tool that uh, protects for everything. There are different layers of security that need to be put in place. And the behavior of the user is very important. So as a, uh, an individual, the first thing that you need to do is to make sure that you're always aware of your surrounding. Make sure that whenever you're using, if you're connecting from home, make sure that your Wi-Fi connection, your Wi-Fi network is secured. Okay. Make sure that, yes, so make sure that when you are using um, a, a public Wi-Fi, and many people like using free Wi-Fi in public areas, please avoid using um, if in important information like your credit card number, shopping online, those are things that you should refrain from using on public uh, Wi-Fi's. As, a, as a, a business, the same thing applies. What you need to, to do is make sure that the multi-factor authentication and other access policies are put in place for your organization because today the most important thing to do is to secure your environment. Make sure that on a regular basis you scan and detect uh, all kind of uh, malicious activity, bot activity that can come. On the users, as I mentioned earlier, make sure that you conduct regular security training for your staff. Okay. Use a web application firewall. That is very important. And you need to know your applications and secure all of them. The times where you could secure on only the so-called critical applications is gone. All applications need to be secured.